Hey, Divine Feminines. Hey, everyone who's tuning in. Um, I was going to just do a little checkup um, and speak with you. Guys, thank you so much for all the likes, comment, and subscribes, okay? Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, okay? Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for all of the truths down below, all the comments, and for supporting one another, okay? That's awesome. If you want to book a personal reading, look down below in the description. You'll see my email. I have four cards spread out here because no matter how many times I shuffle this deck, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of um, alarming, Okay, it's scary and it's concerning how many times this devil card came out. So I just kept it. So I'll keep shuffling. I've only got four cards. I got the devil. Guess who I kept, got next? The queen of cups. Okay. Ten of swords. And the seven of wands. So continue. Continue to keep going. But now that we're tapping into love, into what will defeat the darkness, the darkness is, is, is trying to come. So we've got dark light dark light and though the last card is a little dimmer than this light card okay so when we're trying to fight and to battle this um this darkness trying to come over us so what can come with the devil um a lot of anxiety paranoia um being scared a lot of jumping to conclusions a lot of hastiness and back and forth a lot of crying and vulnerability to say the least and um you know, I'm, I'm going to say it's it's due to us doing the work right now, okay? It's us doing this work. It's us trying to tap into what we've lost that the devil has had a hold of for so long, that the devil's been playing catch with, or just keeping real hostage, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify this devil card. Everything that we need to know, Spirit, about this devil card, okay, and for who it may concern, this devil card here. Why is the devil card here, Spirit? All right, yep, all we got is some cups right there. What else about the devil card? Do we need to know a little more about the devil card right now? Okay, so guess who we got? And then at the bottom is the two of cups. We're surrounded by this love. Look who came out, the ten of cups and the four of cups. This is not a negative aspect. This is nor accepting nor denying. This is taking time out for yourself. This is ultimate happiness and bliss and love, harmony with everyone around you. Ultimately, love. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, even we have the two of of cups what's around the corner all right it's surrounded by love and you know so this could have happened this is happening this could have happened or this is going to happen so be aware of all of the many things that the devil understands and does not like and wants to be able to dim diminish until it's poof gone a lot of us, whether we're spiritual or not, whatever our path may be for spirituality and how we call it, we all know what the devil can do. We all know when we're in negative energy and it's because of this love, it's because of this salvation that we are after because we finally remember exactly what the problem is, what the problem is in ourselves. We all know, but it's something that we've always, it's like, um... When you're ill, you don't like to take the medicine, the, the NyQuil, the DayQuil, so you kind of just let the, the, the cold go. You do, you know, uh, natural practices, herbs and things at home, right? But it's like a sickness, it's an illness that we just got used to feeling all the time. We know when we're about to get sick, we know when our period is coming on TMI, but we understand that this is something we've always known because especially we always felt it. We just got so used to the pain and, you know, it's hard to understand why it's there in the first place, but mostly how to get rid of it. Um, and when we are, we're going to have somebody saying, no, 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 keep that there, honey. You know, like the devil. Okay. There's a bunch of things that I want to say, geez, Louise. A lot of things are going to be unraveling right now and telling you not to change, but change. Keep going. Not ch Keep going into this love. Keep going because this is what we asked for. Regardless if we asked for it, this is what we need. This is us. When we don't, when we're tired of living the same day every day every day and the more deja vu we're experiencing is because we can already map out five to ten days ahead of ourselves because we're so used to what we're doing. There's no downloads. There's no spirituality. There's nothing new. So we're bound to have this deja vu. Deja vu is to help us. You know, we're supposed to get those spurts of deja vu, right? Okay. 
that's what it, but if we're getting it all the time, you got to realize it's because we're living in the same, same notion, motion, okay? The same music and lyrics. So this is for me to tell you that it's clear as day, okay? We have at the bottom of the deck, the two of cups. To clarify the devil, this is all that we've got. And if we let this go, whatever's going on in your life, that you want to, you know, make better is not. It's actually going to get worse. So the devil is crowding all of this love and harmony that you seek. Let's put it back in the deck. All right. Queen of Cups. Spirit talk to me. What do you mean about the Queen of Cups first came out? Is the Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of tasks here. I've been, okay, so let's just go ahead and say it. We're in this Sagittarius moon and everything. What a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, I want to say risque business, um, adventure, eye openers, um, a lot of on the, on the verge of things. Okay. I want to say on the verge, on the brink, on the cusp, um, of doing all kinds of things, adventure. Uh, you could even be in a great position where you're, smile and your happiness is contagious or you could be very emotional i mean it's on the verge it's on the brink that's what i get from sagittarius um a lot of outspoken and uh vigorous things going on i mean it's it could be all over the place really though the queen of cups is someone that okay you're going to be talked about you're going to be given a lot of tasks right now okay is what i want to say make sure you're taking the time out to meditate but um okay um, quiet times are needed, as a subscriber said. All right, but here's the thing. The Queen of Cups is also, so this is who you are. So we're not telling you to be this. If you are, if we're telling you to be this, please do. But if you're here, you know that you also need to be focusing on your skills. This is bettering yourself. This is up um, leveling up. But this is also creating plan A's and plan B's and plan C's. Make sure that you're staying focused. Sometimes I like to look at this as a press, press uh, procrastination card, procrastinating card. But this is also someone who can keep busy. So make sure you're staying busy because when we're vulnerable and looking for things to do when we're in a rut, okay, or when we're vulnerable, so this is a vulnerable feeling for the devil, we, we're going to put some oomph on that, some exaggeration on that and make sure that, no, 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 I'm, I'm about my money too. I'm about my thing. You know what I'm saying? So make sure I'm about the chicken wing, right? <laughs> um, so you just want to make sure that you're also occupying yourself in physical activity. Okay, is what I want to say. More about the Queen of Cups, please, Spirit. Do we have anything else to know about this Queen of Cups? Some advice for this Queen of Cups that we know that there's a darkness trying to come over our love and our happiness. We got quite a few, and I'm going to get them all. So at the top, we have the Empress. We have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. Okay, we got more than that. Here's all that we've got here. Oh, gosh. All right, ready? Queen, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the Star card. We've got the King of Swords. We've got Taurus, Vir uh, Virgo, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. And we've also got the Empress card. So this is giving us a whole heap of hella tasks. Stay busy. Stay busy. And that's great. That's actually perfect for the Sagittarius season, is it not? Um, stay busy. All right, so we've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the Star card. If you're in relationship, try to make that relationship better. Focus on your communication right now. Sagittarius are very open and talk with everybody. They're very friendly. You understand what I'm saying? Very friendly, but very rambunctious at the same time. Make sure you're patient. Make sure you're staying focused and you're working on your money. All right? Stay focused because the devil is out to eat. He's out to pray. He, he wants people right now. Okay? We're, we're, we're not necessarily in this devil energy. We're, we're when we're in Sagittarius, we're... Um, we're out for the good. If you were a, if you were like a group, if you were a house in Harry Potter, and I'm class, classifying the Sagittarius, it would be like Ravenclaw. Okay, go ahead and look that up because we're not. So the Queen of Swords, um, making sure that we stay level, level, level headed. It's not necessarily pointing to a relationship, but though it can, but it's saying that you know when the Queen and King of Swords get together, they are powerful. Nobody is going to be able to detour them of anything. Especially the devil here. Okay, so don't step out of any of the energies. Remember that we're the magician ultimately. Don't lose any of your assets, especially in this time. 
the uh, the star card is between the king and queen of swords. Stay in your mental clarity, please. The queen of pentacles. This is also another high power. She's just like the empress to me. If you've seen uh, other videos of mine, one's a major arcana for sure. But this is an alpha female, a breadwinner, uh, someone who can take time for herself. She's a mother. She nurtures herself, the home, her everyone around her, her family. Okay, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're in security. They're they're um they're set in ways for sure. But as far as their security, their level ground. These are all level grounded cards here. Okay. Wish fulfillment is between the, the swords, your mental clarity and your mental health and your honest communication, honesty, repentance, okay? But also that you're going to get a wish fulfillment out of this hard work that you do. It's all clarifying the queen of cups, why the devil is out on the prowl. Imagine when you're succeeding in much more areas, the empress here, the major arcana for mother nature. You're one with nature, okay? You're one with yourself. This is basically the level up of the queen of, of pentacles. Remember, leveling up is our thing here. Okay, so we'll leave that be. The ten of swords. Let's go ahead and clarify this ten of swords. Okay, the ten of swords. Knight of pentacles. How am I looking at Yeah, I'm looking at it up, right? The knight of pentacles. For the uh, ten of swords, some of us are going to come up a little short okay, of what we're supposed to do of our tasks. Remember here we are the queen of pentacles. We could be a king of pentacles. So for the ten of swords, when we're feeling betrayed, when we're feeling like, oh God, the devil has gotten to us, okay, where we feel like we have nothing left and we're starting all over, how are we going to come back? Sometimes starting all over is very bad because we're very vulnerable. We can start in the light. We can start in the dark. It's very easy for us to start in the dark here when we're picking up all new traits of ourselves, when we're trying to find a new way, shedding of the skin and beginning anew okay the knight of pentacles here i just want to highlight uh coming up short coming up a little short in our personality and our character per okay and and the money okay for our rent for our bills for our responsibilities okay the ace of wands okay so it's because we're starting anew Okay, we're, we're learning on how to start anew, so I don't want to say, oh, you're starting anew, you're coming up short, but for some reason we feel like, okay, so maybe we're just extremely overwhelmed, okay, we have the queen of cups to aspire to be, and all of these other, like, major arcanas, and, and, and mental clarity and stability that we're supposed to be in, all of those cards clarify stability, pure potential to be in our higher most good, okay, so this is the steps, but for some reason we're coming up a little short. Did we get spooked? Tell me more about this 10. Okay, the three of cups. So I'm going to say a few things about that. Some of us are focusing on the wrong things. Some of us are focusing on the wrong things, whether we're into, you know, women, um, partying, drinking, we can definitely be tempted. Or some of us are making sure that we're going to friends to be able to, to be able to, um, prosper but i want to say for this because it's clarifying the ten of swords that um some of us are going to be spending where we shouldn't be going out and partying when we shouldn't be look who's at the bottom now is the magician so we just lost an asset okay we're coming up as the knight of pentacles when we are the queen of pentacles we're coming up as the ace of wands we're now starting stability and we came with money first we're all out of whack so we started off this journey when we knew all that we had to do kind of in the dirt and the dumps so i don't want to say we're starting in the darkness but we're starting in confusion we're definitely starting in confusion the queen of wands we're in a very dark um aspect and area um the three of pentacles will lead us uh, the three of cups will lead us to the five of pentacles poverty out in the cold not taking care of ourselves can we clarify this uh seven of wands here all right okay long neck the wheel of fortune Okay, so some of us are looking for this luck for things to just come our way. It's way too much work for us. It's way too much. It's way too much is what some of us are saying. We're looking for luck because we're staying in our fixed energy. There's a lot. There's Taurus. There's, there's all the fixed signs here, but then there's also not. Okay, there's everyone here, but it's very, very easy for us to fall into this fixed energy with the swords, Aquarius, 
with, you know, the uh, fire, you know, the Leo with the Taurus and the Scorpio with, you know, so we have all of the assets to succeed, but we also have all of the ones to uh, stay stagnant and stay behind. So it's basically, you know, 